Hello, everyone. That's a fed. And it's time for another edition, a spooky edition of Try Hard Gaming with me, Roll Cage TV. I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of delays. Sorry about that. I'm running late. I uh, had to make sure that I had the latest updates for the game, but also um, my, one of my cats, uh, my beloved cats, uh, been uh, doing a little extra maintenance on her lately, and that's taken uh, a little bit longer than uh, than uh, I had anticipated. So they get fed at six. You need a little extra help. So um, so normally I'm arm ready to get going at six thirty. A little late today. Uh, some of my streams may end up being a little bit late in the near future, but. Um, we get there. So what is this? This is uh, Minecraft Dungeons, in case you don't know. It says right in the title, Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> um, welcome to Wild WoW Wednesday, the return of Wild WoW Wednesday, folks. I've not uh, done a Wild WoW Wednesday in a bit. Hold on a second. Actually, the last few Wild Wednesdays I've done have been um, Dirt Rally and Minecraft. So uh, that's not too wild when it's the other two games that I usually stream. But uh, special, let's call them special Wednesday night editions of Dirt Rally and, and uh, Minecraft. And then uh, took a couple weeks off for uh, various, uh, various uh, scheduling and personal reasons. Wow, Wednesday is just kind of a, a flex day. I don't have any particular content scheduled, but uh, I like to hop on and play some game. If it's one of the other games I do, I, I, uh, I stream, then uh, it's that. Otherwise, if it's something else, it's something else. Or if it's nothing, then I don't stream. <laughs> but I try to stream every Wednesday. I try to stream every day for a couple hours a day. My uh, schedule is... Um, on my Twitch page, and I keep to that pretty pretty regularly. Like I said, occasionally I'll miss a day. Sometimes I'll do a bonus episode, but those are pretty rare. Sometimes I'll just do a longer episode where I'll do three hours or something instead of two hours. But anyway, Minecraft Dungeons. Why am I in Minecraft Dungeons? Well, the reason I'm in Minecraft Dungeons is because they just had an update recently. And uh, supposedly they have this Christmas tower thing now. Well, a holiday tower challenge. A tower challenge. Other action RPGs have this kind of thing. So I figured I would do that as long as uh, I can do it at the difficulty level that my character is at. My character isn't at the top level. Sometimes these are endgame things. Adventure hub. There we go. I think that's what I'm looking for. Whoops. Oh, i got to remember the controls now. Oh. Right, that's not how you do. <laughs> I'm trying to use the same controls as in other games, and it doesn't work that way. Let's see. This is, that's not how I swing. That was way too loud for me. That's how I swing. And uh, that's how I shoot. All right. I can't remember all these things. All right. And uh, this guy had something that he was working on for me. It's not done yet. It's been a while since I played this game. So, okay, let's... Uh, Let's open the adventure hub. Let's see what this is about. Ooh, season one, cloudy climb. Season one is for the uh, winter stuff, apparently. I guess they're doing like seasons. Are they going to then have a spring season and stuff? I don't know. I have no idea. Level up to uh, unlock a reward of 500 emeralds. Well, okay. I'm now at rank zero. Um, I do not know what these things do. I don't know what any of this does. I didn't read about any of this. Uh, this is empty. Um, premium, page one to nine. I guess that's paid stuff that I uh, have no, absolutely no interest in. They're trying to save this game, folks. I'll be honest with you. I don't think they've been making enough money on this game. 
And uh, so I think they've been kind of trying to save it by doing seasons now. That's what it looks like to me. My first blush, my first cynical look at this is... No, they're not actually adding anything to the game. They're just uh, trying to add uh, some way of making money. Because I don't think they're making enough money. Okay, and uh, weekly challenges. Um... I have not used potions, collect all... I have no idea what any of this means. Adventure Pass. You can buy the Adventure Pass with unlock premium items. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do that. I mean, if it turns out to be fun, maybe I will, but I'm obviously not going to do that sight unseen. Um, okay. Love up to unlock. Claim reward. Okay, well, how do I... Uh, how do I actually do this adventure is this not okay this is this can't actually be the adventure right the adventure has to be somewhere else that's just the hub to buy things i'm completely confused now uh mainland ah no that's the adventure there's the tower that's what i'm looking for that's the hub Oh, is that basically just back to the... No, that's the hub. And, uh... This is the tower. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. The tower. That's a new event. There's so many other things on here that I haven't done finished yet. I kind of... Like most people, like the vast majority of people, I kind of lost interest in the game after a while. Um, but, uh... They keep trying to add stuff to it, and they've added all kinds of DLCs. And I buy the DLCs because the DLCs are, you know, you get what you pay for. But uh, this kind of um, um, marketplace kind of stuff where you pay for cosmetics that don't really add, you know, give you any kind of... Don't really advance anything. Don't tell a story. It's sort of almost like gambling for little kids where you... <laughs> You pay an undisclosed amount of money because it's, you know, who knows how it converts to real money. But you buy something and then it uh, keeps charging you extra. So, I don't know. I'd have to find out more about how that works. But first of all, let me uh, go to the tower and see what this means. Okay, the tower avatar always starts with minimal gear. Complete floors to gear up. Okay, I see how that works. And I can't read some of this stuff. Uh, the tower. The tower. Tower changes in 19 days, 7 hours. Okay. Current floor is 1. Avatar power is 1. I can't use my regular avatar. I have to use a plain one, apparently. Bombs not drop loot, but each floor has an item reward for the tower avatar. Oh, okay. So the reward is something like a weapon or something? Finishing the tower will reward your current hero one high-level item. Okay, so if I finish it, Okay, let me see if I get this right. Rewards are based on how high up the tower you have received. So, um, I don't know how this works, but, so I've got a special avatar that I use for the tower, and then depending on how successful that is, I might gain something for my, um, avatar, my regular character, the one that I can't scroll over to. Okay, I got. I gotta read this, this story. Tower appeared mysteriously one day, as if it had somehow always existed, and simply emerged from the clouds when it wanted to be found. An even stranger creature beckoned you to enter and take on the challenge inside. What awaits at the top? Only those who have bested the bosses within and survived the challenges could tell you. Will you join these elite heroes on top of the top? Probably not. You know what they say: if you don't succeed at first try, try, try again. Yeah, and then maybe I don't know, pay them extra money for uh, hints or something. We'll see. I'm not going to uh, use this as a way to uh, spend money, but uh, we'll see what I get. Maybe it'll be fun. I'm starting off a little cynical, but uh, we'll see how it is. I'm in kind of bad mood with the entire Minecraft development universe right now, because I think I'm going to have to put my Let's Play on hold again. I ran into a serious bug on Monday where it uh, erased all of my animals and uh, other items. Uh, any, like, animals and villagers and all kinds of other important stuff, uh, it all went bye-bye. And so, uh, it's kind of hard to, um... Oh, okay, I do have some starting things. 
I do not have any enchantment points, but I could enchant these items if I wanted to. Power 26, okay. So yeah, I know this is by a completely different de de development team, but um, let's, uh, how do we do this? Okay, it's a small floor. Secrets, none, chests, none. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put my let's play on hold again until that bug gets fixed, because I don't want to lose another, uh, I had a restore from backup, and uh, I lost, as it turned out, only a day's worth of ever, because I back up pretty frequently, but it could strike at any time, because it's based on saving the game. So if you save the game, sometimes it will just erase all of your entities. This is Minecraft version uh, 1.18, the second hot fix. And apparently it's been a problem since 1.17 something, and they thought it was fixed, but uh, they didn't have it fixed because their development process is, doesn't communicate well <laughs> amongst the various people. I was a professional software developer for decades, folks, so I know how to do things wrong. I don't necessarily know how to do them right, but I definitely know all about doing things wrong. And uh, Moyang has that covered. So, uh, all right, combat floor. Ah, oh, okay, here's combat, ow! I have a, do I have a bow? Do I have a bow and arrows? Okay, that I'll need. I'm used to having my, uh, my items that will help me heal and stuff. I don't have any of that now. Right, you, you need to go. This is not what I was expecting. I thought you got to use your regular character. I thought maybe you had to level your character up or something to be effective with this, but, uh... Apparently you're not using your level character, but you use this in order to get benefits for your character. I do have my bird, though! I'll go back and uh, look at the map. I don't have a feeling I'm not going to get a breather. Well, I can't go back now, right? And you are going to be a tough guy. I just want to go hide. Look at the map. Okay. Oh, so it is a pretty small map. All right. I'm not that good at this game, so I don't expect to uh, get very far. I am on adventure mode. Maybe I should have, uh, because I don't have any equipment or anything with me, I really want to go back to uh, the normal difficulty level. Okay, Swiftness Potion. Because I'm starting all over with no uh, no attack power, doing this, uh, starting, I feel like I started in the middle. My main character, you know, is geared up, can do adventure. This is the second difficulty level, but uh, since I'm starting all over again, I have a feeling I might need to um, build up my skills, start at a different difficulty level. Hold on a second, folks. I just spilled something. All right, fortunately, that was pretty easy to clean up. Just a little water. Still, uh, as they say, I have, sometimes I have a drinking problem, which means I, uh, I dribble. Actually, I didn't dribble. I just spilled a lot of my glass. The ice. You know how that happens sometimes where the ice, you're drinking and the ice shifts in your glass while you're drinking and then it sloshes? That's what happened. Not a big deal. But anyway, this game does not pause either, so luckily I was at a place where I could, I could hide. Um, 
Okay, this guy I gotta take out. Oh. Is that the bad guy I'm trying to get to? That's an interesting looking character. I think I saw this on a preview or something. It's like three guys staying on top of each other. Okay. Well, before I go through the door, let me grab this uh, potion. Okay, well, I can't go through this door. Well, what do I have to do? Is there somebody else I need to kill? Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, and there's more of you here, too. How did you get here? I'm not wasting that potion. Now is it open? Yeah, it's open now. I got. I killed everybody. All right. And what is this here? That's just the way back, or that's something? Go to camp. You can turn to the tower later. Oh, okay. Can I go... If I go to camp, can I go back to this floor? I have to test this out now. Does that show up every time I complete a level? Because I didn't see that before. I may have just missed it because I missed a lot of things. And uh, this does not help my blacksmith, right? No. <laughs> I need to do a regular adventure for that. And this is, um... This is just the sales floor, right? Okay. Okay, and these are weekly challenges. You get three points for using potions. Or no, yeah. You need to use 600 potions to complete that first challenge, and then... And is that... For all everything, or is that just for um, level up to unlock? Okay, so is that level up in the main game, or is that level up on the tower? Because they seem to be separate. Oh, you get a fox companion. Yeah, because this looks like it's just stuff um, in the main game, not necessarily a tower mode. Maybe this came out before the tower mode came out, and I missed it. I don't know. I have to look this stuff up. So, 500 emeralds is like nothing. You can set up an AFK farm and get 500 emeralds in an hour. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you get a different character maybe, or a different, a different, uh, companion. Thousand, that's worth something in game. Oh, you get a pose. Oh, nice. That's junk. That's junk. Uh, again, see, basic characters don't mean anything for you because you can't. Now, I actually, I'm, I am glad to see that they're not asking you to spend money to get actual, it's not a pay to win type of thing, which is the worst. If you have to pay money to get, like, loot boxes, if it's just paying money to get cosmetics, well, okay, that's okay. It's still kind of a, a money trap for kids, because kids don't know any better. But, um... You know, it's better than addicting people to buying, like, tower defense games to pay, pay to win um, mobile games where, you know, you can't do very well at all unless you um, pay money to get things that would take you 14 years to try to acquire in-game. So, Cloud One, yeah, okay, these are just, okay. Well, if it's just cosmetic stuff, I don't feel as bad. They do have to find some way of making money because the game is very cheap. Although, like I said, what are the guards to make sure that kids don't spend money on things that are frivolous? It's kind of like that with Minecraft, the main version of Minecraft now, the Bedrock version, they have the Marketplace. But uh, the Marketplace are actually things that you can buy things in the actual Marketplace that you might want, like adventure maps and things, not just cosmetic things, but actually content. And, uh, that's, uh, that is a bit worse because, um, you have to spend money on an adventure map, which is okay if you had a chance to preview how good that map was, but there's no way to see how good the map was, and so you buy the map, it sucks, and then you can't get your money back, so. That's, uh, that's not good. Anyway, let's get out of here. Go back to the tower, I guess. Is there any other place on the world here that's new? I do not think so. So far. Whee! Whee! 
Just looking around. So, uh, the main things that I was doing is going through the last couple of uh, DLCs. And like I said, I like DLCs. I don't mind spending, giving them money for more content if I have an idea of what the quality of the content is. The problem with the marketplace in, uh, in uh, the Minecraft in the Bedrock version is um, you have no way of knowing what the quality of the content is. You spend money to get a map and you have no way of previewing how good that quality is. I bought a few maps, but uh, for, there are some people online that review them. Like, IBX Story Cat is very good at that. But, uh, you know, he's not... There's way too much content. People make the content and... Uh, I've been here before, yeah. People make the content and release it, and I'm glad they can make money off of it. But there's no way to... Uh, there's no way in advance to know how good it is to preview it. The stars don't mean anything. The rating, it's like, you know ratings on Amazon or something but it's real easy to uh, to uh, manipulate those so you really don't know oh wait a second is this something new over here huh? this is new over here oh is this the tower entrance oh is there gonna be another NPC here I can't believe it I walked over here I go to the map and this is always just a cliff here and I didn't, I, I did not see this whole thing. Well, I'm glad I wanted over here. Because this, this is where you spawn in. This caught my eye right away. But, uh, yeah, I guess this must be the tower. It looks like a tower. Uh, current floor one. Yeah, okay. Give up. You'll not get any rewards. No, I'm not going to give up. Not yet. Can I uh, change this right now to default? No, oh, I can't change the default. Current flow one. Okay, I'll play at this this difficulty for a while. It'll lower the rewards, but that's okay. Because I'm just uh, getting... Like I said, it's a brand new... Um, brand new avatar. His power is really low, so... The avatar power is 35. Let's see it. Verify that doesn't change. Yeah, it doesn't change, so... With such a low power, I'll start with the default. I've beaten the game on default and on adventure, but I haven't beaten the game yet at the highest difficulty level, so I'm still playing on adventure mode. When I last played regularly, I had beaten it on adventure, but I was still playing on adventure mode to build up my skills so that I could, my equipment, so that I could beat the game on the highest level, which I don't even remember. Apocalypse, that's what it's called. And, um, I had, um, yeah, I beat a few levels in Apocalypse, but I felt like I needed to level up more, so that's why I've been playing Adventure. And then I stopped playing the game for a while, so I just went back to Adventure Mode to play, because I did not... My skills are very rusty, but uh, I haven't played Default Mode in a long time, so let's see how this is like. I'll probably get a reward that's really below my main skill level, but at least I'll, I'll get an idea how things work. Because right now, I got nothing. I've got a cheap sword, and... Um, Okay. Oh, so now I can pick. Do I get to pick something here? Uh, one enchantment point earned. Choose an item to equip for the tower run. Any item not equipped to be lost. All stands during. Okay. So. Level 37. So you just get one item? I don't understand this. You would think that. Okay, this is, uh, sends miles for two seconds, 20 second cooldown, okay. Your avatar receives one additional enchantment point for enchanting your gear during the tower run. Okay. So what does this do if I accept that? Oh, okay, so that's the one reward that I can choose. I can choose this reward which will give me an extra enchantment point, or I can take one of the things. So if I don't like any of the things that they're giving me, um, 255 health, roll the teleport. Ooh, roll the teleport is kind of nice. What do I have here? Oh, wait, is there no way to see what I, uh, what I currently have? Um, If I choose this, will it erase whatever else? Because 
maybe the armor I have now is better. Uh, gathering the souls doesn't matter if I'm not going to use it for anything. Ice one. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I do get to uh, decide against it. Okay, so if I choose this, does it let me see what the thing I already... Yes, it does tell me what I had already. 233 health. Damage reflection. Weapon damage boost aura. I think that's better than this one because it's a little bit more health, but um, I'd rather have the extra armor. Um, well, this looks like it's the only thing that's actually going to help me some. The sword is the same kind of sword, right? Just 61 to 97 melee damage. And what's the one I got now? 50 cent. Yeah, so it's hardly any extra at all. So this will give me extra capability, or I can just say, hey, I want one more enchantment point. Hold on a second, folks. i got to adjust my other piece. That's, uh, that's strange. It's been kind of scuff all around. <laughs> my earpieces are falling out. I got, I got my headset and my earpiece. My earpieces were falling out. All right. Well, let's just go with this. So this will be my X button now. I can stun mobs and do damage. Okay, and then I can change my mind, maybe. Oh, no. I can't change my mind. <laughs> I guess I would have had to say hit B to change my mind. I didn't hit B. All right, what is this? Two floors? Boom. Wait, wait a second. That's not how that... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Ah! Uh, like, that's not how that's supposed to work, but then I hit the wrong button. That's, so that is how that's supposed to work. So I hit the wrong button. Okay, these guys should be easy, because I went on the basic level, but, uh... I'm still in trouble here. Okay, did that stun anybody? I thought that was supposed to stun people. It didn't seem to stun anybody. Yeah, I need to are so annoying. All of you guys are annoying. I don't know what this artifact does. It doesn't seem to do anything for me. Okay, arrows. That's good, because I didn't have any arrows. Okay, now I got some arrows. 118 arrows, alright. Oh, does this go back again? Oh, so I can return to camp at any time. Let's go, even in the middle of the floor. Well, I guess I might as well pick this up. Avoid the uh, trap. Um, nothing up here. So this is okay so far. Is that everybody? I have still have no idea what this thing did. It was supposed to stun. Uh, wrong button. Okay. Does artifact damage, stuns mobs for two seconds. Do I have to aim it at somebody to... I don't know how that works. I've never used this weapon before. All right, well, let's keep going. Okay, now we're talking. Now I got some real rewards here. Here's an axe. Spin attack, burns mobs. Yeah, that's worth it. Better bow. That might be worth it. Oh, this thing. I don't really like this thing. But I could use it to replace the thing I got, because I hate it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to use this, because I need, I think I need some more, um, and now I can enchant it. So, um, I can enchant anything. Oh, I guess this is the only thing I can enchant? Um, if I hit accept? No. Okay, now can I enchant it? I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, now I can enchant it. Uh, enchantments, why? 
Okay. I got three enchantments. Two second shield duration. What's the other thing I can pick? Thundering. Deal 16 damage. Oh, okay. I like that one better. When you feed a mob, you're given a temporary shield. I'll, uh... 30% just a lot of... A lot of, uh... Percent chance, so... Alright. Let's go from there. See if I can, uh, do more damage now. I'll tell you that, uh... That artifact... I hate that artifact. Is there a way to just get rid of it? Pick it up? Uh, put it down? <laughs> Alright. I need a better artifact. And, uh... Apparently I'm not done yet. Is that... That's back. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, of course I'm not done. I just started. Right? Is this floor three? And where is it? Oh, there they are. That's more like it! Oh yeah, I like this weapon. I'm gonna keep this for a little bit, I think. Oops, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, I gotta try to use this thing, see how this works. Oh, that's what that is! It creates the... Okay, I know what it is now. I just didn't realize I was the one doing it. Yeah, that's kind of stinky if I, you can't aim it. Let's, uh, let's wait on this guy, see if I can... How do you know where it goes? It always goes a certain distance from where you are? Oh, okay. I guess it goes a certain distance from where you are? That's really unwieldy, though. Yeah, I would, I would not use that in my regular character. Oh, buddy. Buddies. I would like something that will help me heal, but uh, I don't seem to be dropping food. Aha! Cleared that floor. Alright, I'm starting to get the idea, and that's going back home again. This does me no good. Is this a rapid crossbow? Heavy crossbow. Um, well, it's better than what I got. That uh, replaces the axe, which I definitely don't want to do. Thundering Quiver! Uh, 35 range. That adds to my... I select that, and it adds to my bow effect, I guess. Backstabber. That's a weapon. I don't, I don't even know what... Oh, okay, I see. Next to the 40 there, if you look... On the item description in the upper left says heavy crossbow, right? And the upper, it says 40 common in between, there's a little icon. That means it's a ranged weapon. That that at, that sword means it's a melee weapon. That's uh, an artifact. That's a melee weapon. Which, uh, that's a lot of damage, but I mean, I like mine because of the range. Burst crossbow. Range weapon. F fast, multiple projectiles. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll take that. Better bow. And, uh, I do have one more enchantment point. So I can enchant this. Okay, I have to say accept first. Now I can enchant it. And I think I got... Firing a shot also fires a second shot at nearby enemies. The second shot has reduced damage. Wild Rage. Any man has a chance to send it into a rage, being hostile towards everyone. Eh. 10% damage for an extra shot. Eh. I might want to uh, increase my percentage of thundering. Whoops. Instead... Sure. Oh, that costs three. Right, okay. Um, 
I'll save it up. Okay. This is kind of interesting for, um... I don't know the lore of this. Usually they give you, like, lore at the beginning. Maybe. Uh, there was a little written lore. Oh. Was that me? That was me that did that. Did I hurt myself? I hit the wrong button again. Yeah, I definitely need something that uh, helps me heal. There's no, um... They're not dropping food. Hello, I do not have the potion ready yet. Can I go back home? Can I go to camp? <laughs> Where's my go to camp button? Oh yeah, okay, so I'm just sitting here until my potion recovers. <clears throat> Come on, potion. All right. That uh, could be redesigned, to be honest. That uh, whole, you get one potion and then you have to wait forever. It'd be nice if you just pick up potions like in most games, most action RPGs. You pick up potions and then, you know, you have enough to use for whatever X amount of time. Because uh, it's it seems good on the surface, but uh, practically speaking... You know, you get, ooh, you get infinite potions, but then having to sit there and hide while you're waiting for your potion to refill, that just makes the game boring. It makes no sense to keep fighting, hoping that you get food or something else that'll heal you. So, um, what you end up doing is just sitting there hiding until your potion comes back. Now, you know, the smart move would be to keep hiding again until I know I've got a potion at the ready. So, um... I, I think that's a bad design. I, you know, they tried something different. I don't know if there's other games that do that kind of thing. There are advantages and disadvantages, but until you actually play the game and see how it plays out and see how boring it makes the game, you're not going to know that this is a bad design. If you just collected... <clears throat> Excuse me, if you just collected potions or could buy potions or something. Excuse me. Like, uh, I play Titan Quest a lot. Actually, Titan Quest has got a new, um, on PC, they're betaing a new expansion kit. Hopefully it'll come out to console. But, um, and Diablo and everything is the same way. You get, you acquire, you find potions of healing, say, or potions of mana, and then you can, uh, or you can buy them. You collect money and gold and you can buy them. Which would be similar to collecting emeralds, you can buy them. But here, you can't buy potions of healing. You get one potion, and um, that's it. If you use it, you have to go hide. Whereas, if uh, you're collecting potions, or can buy potions, then when you run out of potions, you can quickly go back to town, buy more, and then get back out and, and adventure. Or there's places where you can heal by going back to town. If, you, if your only option is to hide, to keep from taking a death, then... Uh, not good design. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> oh, I did it again. The reason I keep wanting to hit X is because Titan Quest, I just mentioned Titan Quest, the X button is uh, how to attack. A is just for opening doors and stuff. X is for how to attack. So I keep wanting to hit X for attack. Because I haven't played this game in a while. I'm kind of forgetting how it works. Okay, these guys are a little bit tough. Yeah, I gotta, gotta, uh, go again. Yeah, they're, uh, kind of tough for me. Maybe I can outflank this, uh, enchanted, enchanted guy. There we go. Oh, I hit the wrong button again! Nope. Ugh. I'd be doing a lot better if I didn't keep hitting the wrong button. I gotta wait for my potion. All these guys won't be as tough now that they're not enchanted. And they're not dropping food! 
the first floor they were dropping food. Now they're not dropping food. So again, without ample, you know, without occasional things you can pick up to help you heal, your only choice is to hide. <laughs> That's boring. Hiding is boring. Eliminate hiding from action RPGs. It's called ARPG, action RPG, not HRPG, hiding RPGs. If there were hiding RPG games, it wouldn't be as fun. Oh well. So, um, yeah, I'm like many um, Minecraft players that decided to try dungeons because of the same lore and stuff, and it turns out it's not the same lore. You know, not all the same lore. Same kind of characters. And uh, when I first played it, it seemed pretty good. In fact, somebody that uh, is like the master of online um, Titan Quest. Um, Craftodon, he's what's his channel called now? It's a line of epic heroes on both YouTube and Twitch. If you search for that, you'll find him. And uh, he's like Mr. Titan Quest. And he played this game and thought, wow, this is a pretty good game. Um, when it first came out, because you could, you know, it was simplified, but it was actually a pretty good game. But uh, it's just got some flaws that. You, I gotta take on. And this isn't gonna do any good. Because uh, I'm gonna end up just throwing it on top of myself. Oh, it rolled downhill! That still is okay. That was kind of interesting. Power puff. There! Finally, they dropped food! That's the first time in two floors that somebody dropped a healing. Item. The food, the apple there is healing items. Okay, now I'm ready to go out, right? Let me get everybody before I pick up that potion. Oh, that's interesting. It seems like, does every floor have a scenic outlook? <laughs> we can just stand. See the whole vista. Okay, so this is open now? No. How do I get well how do I get up there? It's showing there's a doorway up there. Oh up here, okay. Yes it is open, so let me go grab that strength potion, maybe it'll still be active. Of course I had to take damage to do that. It was not smart. Okay, run run run. There's no run, but you can find an artifact that gives you speed. It's going to not be active by the time I... <laughs> I might even have cleared it. Okay, level 4 cleared. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be active. Okay. What do I have? I don't want to change weapons. I like the weapons, even though this is a better weapon. Until it gets like 10 points out. Now, see, this is the thing that will make me go faster. That's nice. I have a guardian. What's this? I do not know what this is. Oh, it's probably just the rare version of that obnoxious thing. Oh, here's a, a better version of the ice wand, which there's no way I want that. Um, well, I, have too many. I don't see anything good here that I necessarily really want, so uh, I'll just accept the get an extra enchantment point. Oh, okay, right. Let me see. Make sure I got the right button. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, come up here and, uh, come, you come and get me. Oh, see, I gotta hide and I got no, uh, I got no chance. No chance! I got myself cornered, I was trying to, oh, that guy hurts! That guy hurts! Oh, this is it. I have, I have met my match! Poison or something? Somebody's got to drop food here. I can't get away from that creeper. I'm stuck. I was stuck. I couldn't move. Oh well. 
Oh, I missed that scene. I want to see that cutscene. Oh, well. Now, um, did I get anything for my regular character for getting the level 4? Probably not. Um, let's go to my inventory. Oh, I got so much junk in here. <laughs> oh, so much junk. I got to get rid of all this stuff. I don't know what half of this stuff is. You, have, you don't have an unlimited inventory, but you got a pretty large inventory. All right, I will go do the tower one more time, and uh, I'm, I'm tempted to just fail so that I can uh, <laughs> see what that cutscene is. Uh, all right, mobs do not drive blue, but each floor has an item reward at the tower. Have. Finishing the tower rewards your current hero one high-level item. Rewards are based on how high up the tower you ever reach. Okay, so I was supposed to get a reward. Did I not get? Did I get a reward and just missed it? I gotta get at least one floor in and not hit the button so it bypasses that reward screen. Was the reward like money? Emeralds, maybe? I don't know, we gotta see. And uh, I'm starting over again. Which, uh, to me, is not fun starting over again. I mean, I understand it gives you kind of... See, most endgame... Well, it's just all different things. It's not supposed to be. I thought it was going to be, like, endgame content. Like, a lot of games have unlimited runs that once you get, build your character up to a real high level, you see how far you can progress in some un never-ending dungeon. I thought it was going to be kind of like that. This is not like that at all. This is, um... Oh, there's nothing here. This is, um... You're starting all over from scratch. And that's counter to action RPGs. I do not play an action RPG so that I can not level up my character. All I do is level up my character. So this is exactly what I would not like about uh, RPGs. <laughs> yeah, I gotta learn to stay away from these creepers. My, um... My main character has, a. Uh, a thing that lets him um, uh, freeze enemies when they get close to me, so I don't have I don't usually worry about creepers because I get them frozen when they get too close, and of course creepers have to get close to attack. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to play this this particular thing anymore. I've experienced it. I'll go back and play. Um, for my last hour of the stream, I'll go back and play, uh, play something else. Um, I mean, still play Minecraft Dungeons, but continue on with what I'm doing. Why was I not swinging? Because, uh, I do not find this fun. Starting all over from scratch, I do not find fun. And, uh, the... Only being able to pick one weapon and things, you know, this, this is not my idea. But I gave it a try. And now I can go back to camp, or I can keep going. I'm going to keep going and die on the next level and see what the end screen is like. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just here to, to die. Okay. Get ready. Oh, you guys, you guys stink. All right, last chance. Okay, now I will hit buttons very slowly, or not at all. Okay, see, I hit the A button right away. You failed the tower. Don't give up. Try the tower again anytime. Zero bosses defeated. One floor is completed. So I did not get a reward. 
It says you get a reward based on how far you got up the tower. I got one floor up the tower. Is that not enough? You have to defeat bosses, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea how this works, but I'm not having fun with it, so I'm going to do something else. Oh, well. Not the kind of thing that's going to bring me back to the game. I dare say not the kind of thing that's going to bring most action RPG players back to the game if you have to start over from scratch. That's completely contrary to... If you want to start over from scratch, you create a new character, and then you go through the whole adventure of building up weapons and, and building up that character, and maybe doing different build-outs where you change different kinds of uh, armor and gears and stuff. Um, but being forced to start over from scratch every time you do that one adventure, that's... That's contrary to action RPGs. I'm going to mute myself a second here. I'll be right back. I uh, just had to pour myself a new soda, which is going to overflow. No. All right. So let's go back to the map and uh, go back to adventure mode. Huh? Uh, what do I have to pick? Okay, that one. Select that. And uh, go back to what I was starting last time. Because, what do I want? Extra dimensions? I uh, finally got eligible to do this. And uh, so I was going to go ahead and do it. So let's do that. And wow, it's first level. And I'm going to, again, lower the difficulty level. Because uh, uh, I'm not that good. <laughs> Point five power sounds sounds right. I've not experienced any of these levels before, and uh, I'm still getting used to the game. So I make that excuse all the time. But that's another great thing about action RPGs. You don't have to be that good. You you can, if you're willing to put in the time, you can build up your character by by An fighting easier wilderness things. Stretches out before you. Far from home and surrounded by the endless void, you must defend yourself against the creatures drawn to your power. If you want to make it out alive, you'll need to go further into the unknown. All right, that sounds scary. So yeah, in action RPGs, um... Okay, I just want to see. There are secrets, nine secrets and nine chests. Um. In action RPGs, you, um, uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, you don't have to be a great player, and I'm not a great player. There's two ways to play. You can either try to speed run it and see how fast, if you're a good player, see how fast you can get through. Or, you can play more casually and build up your character slowly. And, it, you know, once your character is a certain power level, a skill level, has a certain experience level, whatever in most games is just raw experience level. Well, you can still go back and kill uh, monsters that are slightly lower than you and still gain experience and still gain money to be able to buy better equipment and stuff uh, and just play the game slowly until you, you know. If you're not very good, you're not left out of... Oh, I gotta see if this thing hurts me. No, it doesn't. You're not, uh, you can still progress with the game, just slower, but you can progress with the game. So that's something that appeals to me about action RPGs. Not so good. <laughs> this is, this is called try-hard gaming, because I'm a try-hard. And, you know, I like gaming, but I'm not very good at it. Oh, okay, now I got people to coming after me. I can make that jump, all right. Oh, I bet they don't like water, because in uh, Minecraft, enemy don't like water. I gotta test that. Come over here, see if... Will you stay away from me if I'm in water? No! No, that's not... That's not Minecraft! <laughs> that's okay, it's not supposed to be Minecraft. And, uh... Another thing is finding all the secrets and stuff, and then if you can't find the secrets, you can go online, and they'll tell you where the secrets are. <laughs> Which is what I end up doing. <laughs> See, the, the characters, a lot of the characters have... Oh, I'm kidding myself. Oh, I don't like you. 
the uh, characters that have little uh, squirrely, yellow squirrelies by their head, they're stunned. And um, that uh, is because of my, my cloak. It's got this snowball companion that freezes them. I got, the equipment I've got is um, upgraded to the highest I can upgrade it until I get, you know, I have to find more equipment that's more power. And there's so many more items that they've added to the game over the years. These were the items I found the best in the original game. They've added more and more stuff now, but um, I haven't really researched how what it's good for or anything like that, and I don't want to... I like what I got. I want to take off what I got. I like to have it being able to stun people. I like this glaive because it's got a really long reach. So that uh, if they stun them, I can reach them from far away. I almost never have to worry about creepers anymore because if they get close, they get stunned. And uh, then I can reach them from a farther distance. Right, pick something up. I got another weapon set that... Uh, Gives me um, gives me back health very quickly, but it's closer range. If you see, notice this, this is something in action RPGs. What I love is um, items that help me heal. I prioritize that over other things, life steal and stuff like that. And uh, this weapon has life steal. The other weapon has what's called radiance, which let you heal based on just hitting mobs, not killing them. Um, I was able to get to that other island, right? Uh, can I not get to that other island? Maybe I can't get to that other island. I don't see anybody over there. It might be a secret way of getting there, I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely too high. It'll be interesting to go online, not that I'm going to, because I'm not sure I care enough, but it'll be interesting to go online and see uh, what some of the other people that do, like, YouTube content in this game, what they think of the, um, what they think of the, at the power. Supposedly it has, like, seasonal gear you can get, which is, uh, this season it's going to be holiday gear. Oh, what does the chorus fruit do? Is it just food? Uh, I wasn't watching. Because what they did for Halloween last year, not this year, last year is you get special rewards just for Halloween. I think they had uh, last last uh, Christmas season they also had uh, Christmas gear. And of course it was Christmas gear, it wasn't even generic holiday game. <laughs> this, is, this is the uh, western world we live in, despite uh, despite uh, pretending to be uh, multicultural. Of course, it's all, of course, it's really Christmas. It is a Swedish company and an American company, so, owned by an American company. Okay, burning the spice that will set me a flame that will hurt everybody around me. Okay, hey, so I just gotta walk around. Yay, <laughs> this is just too much fun. I <laughs> not even kill that this option. Great, chorus fruit heals 30% over one second. Oh, okay. So it's basically just like food. Maybe more powerful food. I had no reason to pick that up. And am I supposed to do anything with these lights? I don't think so. Can I go... Can I go back up there? I think there's something else up there I didn't do. Up here. Yeah. Nope. Can I not get up there? This is kind of confusing me. 
Uh, might be secrets. Maybe not. I don't know. If I walk in the fire, does it hurt? No, I can't even walk in the fire. There are places where if you walk in the fire in this game, you'll get hurt. Yeah, I don't see how to do anything like that. Aha! I can get there. Probably an easy way of getting there. Oh! Okay. That is how I'm supposed to get there then. Just don't land on that thing. <laughs> I can't hack it. I can not stay over there. This did give me access to uh, this thing. No, I <laughs> can't. Okay, I gotta try to land and not get immediately respawned or jumped back up here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was so funny. I couldn't, I couldn't make the jump without getting bounced back up. I, I am interested enough, I guess, to look up what the different secret rooms are so I can unlock all of the levels. Because, um, in these, exp in these DLCs that I got the Hero Edition, so I got all the DLCs, but now I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, was there stuff up there I didn't get, didn't do? Okay. Because, uh, you know, I bought the DLCs, it'd be nice to, um, um, know where all the secrets are, and I, if I can't find them on my own. Okay, there's a way up there that I haven't... By secrets, I don't mean like secret chests. I mean secret levels. There are secret levels in the game. What? what I, there's all this stuff I can't seem to find a way to get to. I can't get there from here. I, that, I, that feels like where I started. But I don't know how to get there. Is it back through here? No. Um, no. Ah! Oh, <laughs> well, I, I found a way to get get there. I don't think that's the intended way. Back to where I started. I can't. I can't get up here either. Can I? No. Well, I have no idea how to get there. No, back around this way. There's gotta be a... If they have enemies there, that means that there is a way to get there. Um, I think, because enemies have drops and you want to be able to get to the drops. But uh, I have no idea how to get there. Ah, that's how to get there. There was a little path through there and I couldn't find it before. Between the trees there. There's a step. You have to get up the step. But you can't see the step because it's between the trees. Hold on a second, folks. Take a little another break here. Had to uh, take a hydration break and... Uh, my ice is clinking. I don't want the ice to clink on on the, the stream. Did I unlock the secret level? I'm sorry, brother. I was not been even watching. Nobody's been commenting. I haven't even watched Uh Check the Mac to see if there's secrets. There are secrets. I do not know what the secret level is here, though. It's the cows? It's the cows. I do not know what that means. It's the cows. Just don't land on that thing. Lands on it three times in a row. Yeah, <laughs> I said, I said, that was pretty funny. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where the secret level is. You know where the secret level is. Uh, I would appreciate a clue in chat, and I'll try to be paying attention to the chat now, because I wasn't paying attention before. Nobody was chatting. I just now looked down. I'm sorry about that. Normally, I'm better about watching my chat, but... 
on the, on the other days of the week, I get more people watching. Uh, to be quite honest, Wild Wednesdays, I do this for my own benefit, and I don't uh, don't usually get too many people watching. Whoa! What? Uh. Ah! Okay. Where was that? <laughs> I lost again. Okay, I came up here. Don't fall down there. That's the lesson. Don't fall down there. But I can't get up here. And I can't get over there that way. Is that? Uh, yeah. I had a feeling that's how I died last time. But I can get here a different way. This is where I've been. All right. Yeah, I can heal this way. Oh, the cow level, the single level in the whole game. Yes, I did unlock that level. Now I figured out what you were talking about. The level with the cows I unlocked. I thought you meant a secret level on um, on this particular adventure, this particular map. Yes, I did unlock the cow level. I've gone through the whole thing on um, adventure mode and default mode. I have not gone through the whole thing on uh, apocalypse mode yet. Okay, these guys I don't like. Don't like the fire trail. I just had a swing, make sure he's dead. <laughs> okay, am I like at a boss level now? I'm gonna get an ambush here. Okay, explore the gardens. That's something I can click on. Oh, I know what that is. It has one of these and something else. You like it powers up, you gotta be get away from it when it starts to power up. I think. Okay, I need to do something else to open that. Um, no. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, the secret level, I think, uh, I think uh, what Sebastian's talking about is, um, oh, well, okay, I have to explore the garden more, apparently. Um, it's a, it's an homage to, um, Diablo 2, where there's a secret level with cows. It's, uh, same thing here. There's a secret level with cows that come after you. They don't really, the cows don't really. A lot. But then there's a big boss. And uh, you have to go through different levels throughout the... Once you defeat the game on a certain level, like default, there, you have to go on different levels throughout that. I still am not understanding how this works. Okay, I guess I gotta stand in there to get them to spawn, and then I'll unlock the thing. And find uh, little... You go on different levels, go back through different levels of the game, and uh, go through secret areas, and then you find these rooms that you collect all the rooms, you eventually unlock the main secret level. Ah, I got it open, all right. Diablo 2, I've been tempted to get the Diablo 2 remastered and play that on stream sometime. I haven't yet, but I put a lot of, lot of hours into Diablo 2 back in the day. Okay, that's something I have to walk on. Find the key, okay. Come on, just take care of these guys, and then look for that key. Is this the locked door? Yeah. It's locked door. Well, first, before I can find the key, I gotta survive the ambush. That's how this game works. Uh-oh, there's a boss. 
a regular uh, enderman? Yeah, it is. I'm trying to remember how I handle these guys. I put down this healing aura and then uh, I can uh, just kind of. Um, I can usually just tank him when I put down the healing aura, but he's uh, a little more powerful. Than that. I do not have my boss configuration. My boss configuration gives me health back just for um, just for hitting him. Here, I need to kill him before I can get health back. Okay, well, you. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, and a chest. Don't need to find that key. No more emeralds. The emeralds are like gold. That it, it's based on the Minecraft trading. Emeralds are the uh, currency you trade with villagers. It used to, in the original levels of the game, you could not walk off um, the edges. And these expansion kits, I think they changed it so you can't walk off edges now. Most edges you can walk off, where in the original game you couldn't walk off the edges. But it's easy, you know, you don't have to put up, you don't have to remember to put up uh, barriers if um, they let, they just, they make a design decision to say, oh, okay, we're going to let them walk off edges because. Then we don't have to worry about their being uh, forgetting to put a out of map boundary. <laughs> okay, I do have no idea where this key is, but uh, I have a lot. These guys are respawning, right? There's a lot more I can explore back this way. I think they had, uh, oh no, it was silverfish they had in uh, the stronghold room that you had unlocked to get there. levels, the, the expansion kit does give you the, one of the knocks on the game when it first came out is that there wasn't a lot of content, but the game was very cheap, so, you know, for a $10 game, it gave you plenty of content for your money, um, $10, $15, depending on what version you bought, but, um, the expansion kits, you pay, I, I don't remember what you pay, if you buy the hero edition, you get them free, but, Otherwise, the expansion kits were like five dollars, but uh, you get fewer levels. But the levels are each much larger than the original game, so they're still worth the money, I think. Especially if you buy the hero edition, you get everything at a discount. Oh, there's that. Wait a minute! Didn't I do this already? This is like a repeat of what? Cause that. I got that chest before. I know I got that chest before. And now uh, back to this chest. This is all looking too familiar. <laughs> oh wait, I hear the key. Okay, I hear the key, but I don't see him. Alright, I'm coming for you, buddy, don't worry. As soon as I can find you. Maybe, uh, if I could interpret your language. Dot that's on there is usually objective. 
But I think that was the... Wasn't that not the door? They had to get through that I have to find the key for? Or is that the key? No, see, that's... I need to find the key. Oh, wait. Did I get the key? Oh, I got... had the key. I had the key on me the whole time. It was blue, and I didn't see it because my cape is blue. Well, that's, uh... No wonder I kept hearing him. Because he was right with me the whole time. Well, there's the second embarrassing thing I did this stream. <laughs> Not surprising. I do a lot of embarrassing things. <laughs> Gee, where's the key? I can't find the key. He's got to be around here somewhere. He's right behind me. He was literally on my butt. Uh-oh. That's, uh, that looks like a boss character. Yeah, I think that's... Is that the boss guy that I'm trying to get to? I can't find a way to get to him directly. And I don't think I want to drop down there. Yeah, see that little... Uh, that worm, I think, is the boss. I'm eventually going to have to defeat Levels are large. I think I just said that. Uh oh, that's the guy with the ice attack. That uh, I wish they'd added that to Minecraft. There's a mob vote in Minecraft, and that was one of the mobs that they were thinking about adding. But uh, that was like what they wanted. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh Yang has done this before, where and they'll do a mob vote, and they think the obvious vote that. The obvious mob that matches the motif of the... Uh, because they were having... This was the update with the snowier snow. Daisy Cliff. So having a, a guy that... That... Uh, a new kind of uh, enemy that resides in the... Cliffs. The snowy cliffs would have made a lot of sense. But of course then... YouTubers had to get together and... Uh, one in particular I won't mention, decided, hey, you know what would be funny? <clears throat> if we uh, all got together and voted for the lamest mob to protest the mob vote. So they did, and they voted for the lamest mob, and we got a glitch kit. Which, they did the best they could, and only did the best they could, but they uh, made the glow squid have a cool drop, but unfortunately, unfortunately it's a cool drop that uh, causes a lot of lag in the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you put, if you put glow glow ink on uh, on anything in the game it really lags you out so okay that opened something so I don't use glow ink in my world because uh, I uh, I mean obviously if you use it once or twice it doesn't you know add to the lag but if you use it if you have a bunch of signs or a bunch of, uh, um, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. Okay, I think that's the main way, so I'll go this way first. A bunch of item frames or a bunch of signs. Those are entities that like the game as it is. And, uh, when you add glow ink to them, to make them either glowing item frames or glowing signs, that, uh, that makes it worse. So. Oh! Oh! This guy I don't like! Did he fall down? These guys, these guys look scary. But, uh, you know, I, the new version of Minecraft is already, the wild update, the 1.19 version is already, I, I hope people don't mind me talking Minecraft in this Minecraft spin-off game. <laughs> Uh, is coming out. I've got the 1.18 version, and, uh, I've got a let's play, but bugs are keeping me from playing it. And one bug they fixed, but, um, this looks like something I should do. But, um, now they got 1.19 come out, and there's some critical bugs in 1.18 that I wish they would focus on fixing those before releasing betas, but being having spent decades being a developer, I understand that it's different teams 
One team does new development, another team does uh, maintenance development. But um, that's very common, only it can be problematic because um, I think I do have to go down, drop down here. But uh, the problem is, you have to have really good communication for that to work. Your uh, maintenance team and your development team have to be constantly communicating so that bug fixes do not get lost. And uh, unfortunately, their communication is not always the best, and a lot of times bug fixes get lost. So that bugs that are fixed in one version end up coming back in uh, another version. Okay, I, do I have to drop down here? I don't see any other way of getting down there. I'm hoping that I can get find a way back up. Oh, oh, this guy's not good. Oh, this guy is not good. Oh, I wish I had my, uh... No time to switch to my boss build now. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet here when I try to... Oh, do I have arrows? I can use arrows. That's how you take down the boss with this build. You use the arrows. And I leveled up. And is there a way to get out of here now? I have a build, if you're familiar with this game, I have, um... I gotta go to my channel list. I have, uh, the Fangs of Frost, which are, um... Um, they have radiance on them. They're fast and they have radiance, which gives me, um, gives, gives me power. Oh, I can't just drop down here. I see. I can't get in that way, but I can get out that way. The radiance gives me health back for every time I hit the guy, and they're really fast weapons, so... Though it's it's a better configuration against bosses. Because you don't have to kill them. The weapon I have now, I like it. Because it's got long range for those are close range range weapons, those knives. But um the uh So I like the range weapon most times, but for the range weapon to help heal me, I gotta actually kill things. And against the boss, it's hard to, you know, kill things. He had minions though, which was helping. But I had arrows, so... Okay, that's like the end. I don't want to go through the exit yet, because I want to go through the one area where I've already been. I think that's the exit. Yeah, I got the, uh... Yeah, that's telling me that's the exit. Level exit. I want to go through the area I haven't been through yet. So, yeah, I mentioned before, though, the real problem, I think, with the quality of Minecraft is, uh... Not even Microsoft, which people blame. Microsoft is just the marketing people. They hire the developers, but the uh, creative director is uh, a Java player. And um, so he focuses on Java. And, uh, I mean, a Java developer, Jeb. And so he doesn't give a lot of consideration, I don't think, to the other version, the Bedrock version that I play. Um, and the... The Java version itself has a, has a reputation of not being terribly high quality. And uh, the Bedrock version is even worse quality. Because uh, he tries to add things he's got. Oh, I got this great idea for a, a combat update version 2. Oops, it won't, I don't, it won't work on, a, on a, a console or a phone or something. So, uh, oops, we got to abandon that and try something else. So it's a bunch of waste of time. Or he likes to add things in at the last minute. The developments and builds and then uh, the Java programmers can get it done but the C programmers can't get it done that fast. So the poor bedrock C++ developers are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Microsoft insists that updates go out at a certain or that new versions go out and major updates go out at a certain time so that they can coordinate all the updates together. And they're supposed to have the same features, but if Java starts adding a feature that 
takes more time to add in, in C than it does in... Uh, no, nope, that's not something I can jump to because it's not on the map. Um, then it just it doesn't get added to uh, the C version, the Bedrock version. And uh, then there's no time the schedule to go back and add it later. So parity has always been a terrible issue for them. Okay, there's... Is there a way to go get those without... Any, how can I get back now? That's the question. Uh, can I just kill myself by jumping down for those things? I have to just jump off? Can I not get back? Hello? I can't even jump off the edge. Am I just stuck? Do I have to do that reset? I think I might have to do the... Oh, wait! Oh, there's a way I can jump off! That'll reset me. <laughs> oh... There's got to be a way to get... A better way to get back from there, right? Maybe not. Maybe just supposed to take a... Take a drop there. It's not a death, because I was at full health. I figured I would survive, but... Alright, I think we're ready to end this level now. Go through the doorway. I did not find a secret off of here. Well, let's actually check the map. I found five secrets and four chests, so there's more secrets. I don't know if one of them's a secret level or one of them's a secret chest. I'm gonna check online. All right. Oh, it's not level complete. Well, how about that? I thought that was gonna be a uh, level complete. It was not. Oh, are there always those special doors on the level complete? Well, we got some more time in the stream. We got more uh, adventure to find, so good. I keep thinking those things have to be buttons in your push. Oh, did that thing respawn? Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't want that to happen. Um, that thing had a power bar, so I knew I could. Let me, uh, let me heal some. Yeah, it is respawning. Okay, well, well I'll just stay away from there. Uh, okay. I don't know what I did to make that happen. I take it I need to, uh, hit some buttons? Oh, let's me keep going, so I'll keep going. I'm kinda stuck here! Alright. Oh, I keep wanting to swipe at my bird. My bird's my friend, but I see him out of the corner of my eye. It's like, some of these moving! Gotta get him! Sorry, bird. Oh, can I not shoot that then? That's not good. And if they respawn, it's gonna get faster. Oh wait, <coughs> there's a chest there. Uh, can I get to that chest this way? No, I can't. I gotta go. I will go. Again, there seems to be a, an awful lack of food here. Alright, some more arrows, because apparently there's going to be another boss fight at the end of the level. Because that was not the end of the level.
See, this is another advantage to uh, having the long weapon. I can actually kill things through the door. Ah, uh, can't quite reach him. Now. There you go. <laughs> Had to bait him out a little closer. Ah, <clears throat> well, I did get the. I thought I got the levitation thing, but then um, I um, fell down anyway. Or I got levitated anyway. Okay, so how do I get through that gravity? What's gravity pulse? Is that something to press on? Oh, gravity pulse is just a uh, little enemy or something. Obsidian Claymore, that sounds cool. What am I supposed to hit here? Oh, I think I think I understand. I think I have to run through all these things, light them all up. No. Ah, that was right. It just took a while. Okay, so I must have done that accidentally last time. Didn't realize what I was doing. Suddenly, I noticed those things on the floor. I thought they had something to do with something. But uh, I didn't know I was trying to press them. That's not how you activate them. You just walk over them, and you gotta walk over them uh, all in sequence. See, that's what adventure games are about puzzles. Well, well that's not gonna help me at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away from you because I don't wanna be loved to you. Oh, that's. I understand what that is now. That obsidian thing is uh, where those guys spawn. Huh? Good to know. Oh, another one of these things. Oh no, that's just a button. Is that a button? No. Oh, is this this again? I gotta step over them all. Does it light up? Oh, these are not lighting up. I have to do it in a different order. You are annoying me. That's lighting up. No, not lighting up. The one lit up. Okay, that's lit up. Ah. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, I stand on that. It's not lighting up when I stand on it. I don't know how I made it light up. Okay, when the guy respawned, it lit up. So do I just have to let them all respawn? I don't understand. Okay, that thing is lit up now. It was lit up. He respawned, it lit up. Okay, okay, stand on that. Okay, I was doing these out of order. Did that work? That one lights up. That one lights up. That one's lit up. That one's lit up. That one's lit up. That one's lit up. I didn't do them fast enough. Okay. Ah. First, I have to kill this guy. He's going to. Come on. Okay. No. What? Okay. Maybe it's not something I do. Maybe it's something the guy does in response. Okay, he's like that. Okay. Oh, he lights up the first two, and then three, and then four, and then. You have to press them? Oh, maybe I have to stand here, and they all light up? I have to be standing here? I understand. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm starting to understand now, I think. Is a projectile. Get one of those things. Okay, one more. One more. Kind of an interesting puzzle.
Now I can hit the button. All right. That's how that works. And uh, where am I going? I have no idea. Up to a new level, apparently. Well, that's an interesting type of elevator. I have to, you have to unlock the elevator first by letting them shoot their levitation things out. And then, very interesting puzzle. I am playing this blind. This uh, map. I uh, I looked stuff up in the original game, but this expansion kit. I am playing completely blind. I didn't look anything up. So you're out there yelling at me. <laughs> I thought we didn't know that. Everybody knows that. Look it up. Hey, it's getting close to 8:30, so I'm not going to be able to explore everything I wanted. So uh, I might have to start making a beeline towards the exit here. Oh, which is down there is what I need to do next. Okay, great. Now I can't get out of here. This should do something, right? Is that call the elevator back? Calls an ambush. Unfortunately, there's no way to really save this game in the middle. And, uh... I don't have, have much more time to stream, so I might have to pick this up next while Wednesday. Okay. I survived the ambush. Now I can get out of here. So where am I supposed to go? That says that way. Follow the arrow. Following the arrow. Following the arrow. Now it's telling me... Down there? Where are you down there? Okay, down here. Okay, and now following the arrow. Thing. I think I need to go up these stairs so we're gonna make real progress. Yeah, they're not dropping food very often at all, compared to uh, the base game. They drop food all the time. So this is something special. It doesn't seem to be powering up on me, so I don't know what it does. You just keep following the arrow. See, I think I eventually want to go that way, but I don't know how to get there. Maybe up through here? Wait. It says there's something here that must be down below. Do I have to go back down below? I have to keep going. Maybe I have to go back down below. You would think that if I had to activate the elevator... That I would have, I mean, if you think the elevator's there, that must mean I have to activate the elevator, right? Why would they have an elevator there if you didn't have to activate it? Okay, here we go. Somehow I found my way, I don't even know how. And uh, there's these things on the floor again. Activate that, activate that. Stay out of this thing. Okay. Oh, it only needed one to unlock, okay. Now is this the boss? I think this is the boss, finally. The real boss. Or maybe not, maybe it's just an ambush down the level. I see a boss bar. Oh, now it's going to start falling apart. Okay. Oh, now here's the boss. We know how to deal with you. That's where we save up our arrows. Go. Oh. Uh. 
I don't want to walk across that stuff. There we go. Oh, really? Another level? I got no time for this. It looks small. Let's give me the ceiling. See if I can make a beeline. Learn to fly. New objective, learn to fly. Okay. Oh, I'm flying. Uh, okay, no idea what I'm saying. Okay, now another boss. Another chest. And a swiftness potion. Oh, do I have to go off that thing? To collect an elytra somewhere? Uh, it's not the exit. Oh, here! Collect the elytra. Okay. Now! Can I fly? Off one of these ed edges? Oh! Okay. Well, I can fly now by hitting the, uh, the jump button. But I don't know how that progresses the uh, level. Oh, here we go. Can I fly off of this thing? No. That apparently is wrong. There you go. There we go. And I didn't make it. Ah. Okay, I gotta keep uh, moving here. Okay, I have no idea where my final objective is. I would guess it was this way. Guys are getting tougher. Supplies. Sabotage the end. Whatever. That's where I wanted to be up here. No. Okay, I got a bunch of these things. The end pistols, was it? Oh, man. One's up here. One's up there. the end docks, it says okay. Alright, there's nothing there. Two more to go. And 
then uh, if this does not lead to the exit, I'm going to have to just uh, quit, sadly. I will not have time. Okay, cross the chaos forest. Oh boy. I have a feeling this is not coming close to an end. do I get up there? Okay, I'm like falling through the level here. Okay. <clears throat> Must not be that way, it's this way. Now I'm on a speed run. I think it's this way. And which way? This way. Care about the obsidian chest, extra bonus, but I just gotta get done. Okay, that looks like it might be a big final boss. Right? Maybe? The arrow's pointing that way. Okay, that's the crystal thing. Here's the way to the boss. End of the portal. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, everything's falling apart. There's the portal. There's the portal somewhere. How do, okay, now how do I get up there? Ah, oh, finally, I did it! Take brings you closer to the end. Well, that was very fun. Unfortunately, it was like a never-ending level. I was running out of time. Let's, uh, let's get my reward here and then sign off for the day. I appreciate you all for watching. I, um... Oh, really? <laughs> Not even a very special thing. But, you know, I can't pick up this thing now. Which, uh... I'm probably not gonna pick up, because... I don't even know where to where to put it at this point. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today, folks. I do appreciate you all watching. I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, good uh, whenever, until I see you again. And uh, we, uh, I had fun on the last level, did not have fun at the tower. I, uh, I'm going to sign off. Wherever you're going, on the road or in life, be sure to enjoy the drive. All right, folks. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.